In this video, we are going to have an introduction to macroeconomics. We are introducing our course unit. So we shall start by defining what macroeconomics is. Macro, it means something that is big. Yes, something that is big. Yeah, it is the opposite of micro. Micro, it's something that is small. Yeah, it can be at an individual level, but for macro, we are talking about like the whole economy. So the definition of macroeconomics is the study of the aggregate economy. Like we are studying the whole economy, or let, let me say the whole country. It examines an economy as a whole with a view of understanding the in interaction between economic aggregates such as national income, employment income, and then inflation. Macroeconomics as the study of the aggregate economy it is concerned with aggregate types of problems and then issues. Since we are studying the whole economy at large, we are going to be dealing with macro problems like unemployment, inflation, national income problems. Yeah, those problems are what we are going to be dealing with since we are dealing with the whole economy at large. And that is macroeconomics. It is the study of the aggregate economy. So the most important problems that we are going to look at, they are three. We have unemployment, inflation, and then stagnant production. And they relate to the three macroeconomic goals of full employment, stability, then economic growth. Yeah. Unemployment, it is when people are unemployed, like they do not have what to do. Yeah, they really want to work, but they have tried like searching for jobs here and there, but they are unable to find what to do, yeah, meaning they are unemployed. So unemployment is commonly measured by the average unemployment rate. So if the unemployment rate is high, it means the unemployment is high. So it indicates the portion of the economy's total resources that are not being used for production. Yeah, remember, labor is part of the resources. So if unemployment is high, it means that human resource is not being used for production. So resources are aid of. Then inflation. Inflation is measured by the inflation rate. If the inflation rate is high, it means that inflation is high. Yeah, it indicates whether the average level of prices is raising, falling, or remaining stable. If the inflation rate keeps on like increasing, it means that the prices are increasing. And if it is ever reducing, it means that the prices are reducing. And if it is stagnant or constant, it means the prices are stable. Yes, so inflation is measured by the inflation rate. And then problems related to aggregate production, they are measured by gross domestic product, especially relative to potential gross domestic product. Production, it, it's in line with GDP.